Oh, uh, yeah, back in action. Hello, everybody, my name is Ron Youngard, and welcome back for more Donald Duck Quack Attack. Which, you know, this might actually possibly be the finale. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows if I'm gonna be able to get through, you know, four levels and uh, a boss level. Oh! <laughs> Here comes the fucking lizards with their noises. Jesus, I it still cannot get over that. That is just crazy. <laughs> oh lord, it, I actually, this is um, right after I have posted the first part. So, <laughs> literally, I mean literally, I've played through now almost the entire game. <laughs> Like that's kind of because I um, actually also read some uh, reviews for this game, which um, well, not a lot of concrete reviews, but um, just some good. I well, I looked over the Wikipedia page. Okay, <laughs> that that's that's the extent of what I did, um, and that is one of the things that uh, reviewers complained about was that. Uh, you know, this is a pretty short game, so... And I, I, I suppose it is. I, I guess that's just one thing that I, I it never it never really crossed my mind since uh, as a kid. <laughs> as a kid, well, first of all, um, I wasn't able to really get through most of the games since... Uh, <clears throat> no, oh, oops. Since, you know, I'm not exactly the best, best at video games, you know, children and all that. Um, but then also, um, the fact that I wasn't really able to play this game, you know, much, because, you know, I didn't <laughs> really have a Nintendo 64 growing up, so, uh, whenever I play this game, it was, um, always, um, you know, borrowed from someone, or I was at somebody's place, or, you know, something like that. So, uh, I, I think if, if I ever owned this game, my opinion of it might be... Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if my opinion of it might be different, but uh, I, I, I might have a different outlook on on this game, I should say. Where's the plane? There it is! Okay, now we just need one more plane and one quesadilla piece. <laughs> Still sticking with that definition. I mean, I, I couldn't find any official... Oh. Uh, find any official definition of what it is, so might as well <laughs> call it a quesadilla piece, because it's, it's, as, it's as good as anything. Because, like, what the heck else is it supposed to be? I mean, I, I suppose it is, like, part of the picture frame, but it's not really. Like, it, it just pops in and turns into the picture. So, like... <laughs> It might as well just be a magical piece of a quesadilla. It makes as much sense as anything else. Oh god. I can already tell that this is gonna be a ton of fun. Oh fuck. One of the first ones that we actually missed. Okay. Let's time this. Oh fuck. Let's try to time this again. Fuck. No, the, nah, nah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> I never really took a close look at that book. It looks super weird. Well, like it had just it's just this book with like that magician's face. It just looks so out of place. Oh god, that could have ended badly for Donald. I don't know. Ooh, ooh! I know exactly what these flying platforms remind me of. They remind me of uh, one of the chests from uh, Kingdom Hearts One. Uh, future me put up a picture of uh, that type of chest if you're able to find it. Because um, they're this, this exact color and almost the exact, uh, you know. Like, it's it's like a 
a, like a deep royal green but with like yellow lines so it's pretty pretty spot on ow oh I'm able to stand on those okay I'm not gonna complain about that and we got the third to last piece of quesadilla <laughs> I actually haven't had quesadilla in like, f oh, oops. I actually haven't had quesadilla in like forever. Um, and it's actually not a food that I've really had too much of to begin with since, um, I mean, I live in Norway, girl. There's not exactly lots of places you can just fucking get quesadillas. And it's not really a food that we make here <laughs> at all. Um, but I just decided to try it out one one night because, like, it was like two or three a.m. I was super duper hungry and I was just like, you know, hmm, what food can I create with the things I have in my house right now? Because you know it's fucking in the middle of the night and there's nothing open right now, <laughs> and you know I didn't really have anything. Uh, but what I did have was, you know, uh, tortillas, and I had, um, uh, cheese, which, you know, that's <laughs> really all you truly need to make a quesadilla, you know. It's not gonna be a, an especially fancy or good quesadilla, but it's still, you know, technically a quesadilla. I, I, I mean, I, I believe that's correct, like, just a quesadilla is just, you know technically a um, tortilla with um, with cheese inside because you know it's uh, the whole queso which I do believe means cheese and uh, dia which it could be partly uh, tortilla dia I don't know <laughs> ground of speak Spanish I don't, I don't speak bean. <laughs> God, that's <laughs> kind of rude. I, I suppose isn't isn't that you know? Okay, I'm, I, 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 I'm uh, approaching this as a person that has had zero experience with Mexicans since you know I live on the other side of the fucking globe of Mexicans. So, but um, isn't and I put a mental parenthes parenthesis around this? Isn't beaner? the rude thing to call them or call them call Mexican people um, and I, I don't really know what that would even mean like beaner like does that just mean that they eat a lot of beans in, in, <laughs> in that case I should be called a beaner because I eat a fuck ton of beans <laughs> Oh man, I, like honestly, I eat so much fucking beans. It's crazy. Um, okay, that, that's maybe exaggerating it a little bit, but um, I do actually eat plenty of beans because um, I was actually um, introduced to it kind of late in life, like only like a year or two ago. Um, oh my god, this is really annoying. <laughs> um, yeah, I was only introduced to it like a year or two ago, um, but when I finally was able to use use uh, beans in my cooking, I really was able to find out just how, you know, good they are. Because, um, you know, uh, they... As a person that is usually pretty poor and doesn't is not able to afford much food, <laughs> Or, you know, at least, you know, I, I'm not really af able to afford meat every day, usually. Because, um, you know, meat is a, a, is a luxury. So, um, a good alternative to protein that is not as expensive as meat would be um, beans. Because, you know, they, they got a lot of protein, uh, they got plenty of carbs, so, you know, the, you're filled up. Um... Because you know, there's a lot of like scare, uh, scaremongering that goes on with the word carbs. Like I feel like a lot of people 
when you mention carbs, it's like, oh, it's a negative thing. Like, oh, carbs, oh no. And if, if something is low carb, you automatically think that, oh, that's a good thing. Um, but that's not necessarily the case. Like, sure, you shouldn't, you know, overindulge in carbs, because that's not good either. Um, but um, you definitely need carbs to, uh, you know, be able to function properly. Um, or just in general, you need, um, not necessarily carbs, I guess, but at the very least, you need, um, calories, um, which, you know, carbs is a, a good f source of that, so, I mean, I don't know, I, I could just be speaking r directly out of my asshole right now, but, uh, I, I, I believe that to be true, um, and in general, uh, especially in my situation, since, you know, I'm not able to afford much food, uh, it's important to get um, enough calories, because you are supposed to get um, an, an adult human male, well, I mean, as opposed to a non-human adult male, you know what I mean, um, an adult human, oh god, I keep saying human, an adult male is supposed to get at the very least, I believe, about 2,200 calories. Um, of course, that doesn't take into account, um, you know, how much you weigh and how wide you are. Because, you know, there are some people that uh, are quite tall, but they, you know, <laughs> they're built like a toothpick, you know. Um, oh, Christ. Um, but on average, an adult male is supposed to get like 2,200 calories uh, and if you were like how I have been for a lot of my life and just eat you know like uh, <laughs> just eat like two or two meals a day pretty much um, then uh, that is definitely important to get a lot of uh, calories in those two or three meals um, so beans in that uh, aspect is very good because then you um, like for example especially if you make for example a, a meal that consists of uh, uh, beans and rice because um, then you would get uh, plenty of uh, of calories that aren't you know like because uh, beans and rice just in and of themselves you, if you don't uh, think about you know what they well you sometimes you have um, beans that come in uh, you know, like a, what's that, what would, what would you call that, a sauce, it already comes in like a sauce, but if you just get, uh, you know, plain beans and rice, that in and of itself isn't really unhealthy, like, sure, it does have plenty of carbs, but as we've already, <laughs> as we've already talked about, that's not necessarily a bad thing, um, and then you can, you, know, you can add, uh, healthy options like for example if you um, use um, add a lot of, you add a lot of greens and you don't use a lot of say butter or all that other stuff that's you know kind of unhealthy um, then uh, a meal consisting of uh, beans and rice isn't really the worst thing in the world God. <laughs> I have no idea when this straight up turn into like a <laughs> uh, not culinary. What, what is it called? A uh, nutritional podcast. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry if you've been bored for the last like five minutes. But uh, th I mean, this is something that I am generally like interested in. Like I, uh, I I'm genuinely genuinely interested in. Um, Nutrition and all that kind of stuff So there you go, and wow that was the last regular level so now we only have the chase and um, And the uh, the boss hmm. And here is Louie back again I, I suppose it's Louie. I, I didn't, <clears throat> didn't actually check what his name was head alley Girl, I'm gonna get myself some head and head alley, and you know what I mean. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now I do wonder what it w hmm. I do wonder what is going to befall us here in Head Alley. I wonder if we are going to be chased by something head shaped. Oh golly gee, the head is moving. I don't know why I'm making such a delay. Oh, okay. Well, that's not actually not what I expected. <laughs> I didn't expect the head to just roll. <laughs> I thought the head was gonna, like, I don't know, float after us. Uh, like, um, you know, I thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna be magic and shit. But no, it's just like, it's, it's just straight up rolling. Oh god, it's gonna rubber band so bad. Oh crap in a hand basket. Okay, let's try that one more time. <laughs> if for some reason it looked like that box had a, a fez. It was, it was wearing wearing a fez. Oh no 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 no. Oh my god, I just did the same thing again. No. Not gonna go for that. Not even gonna go for that. Holy macaroni grill. Just gonna continue, continue, continue on. Oh my god. I don't, I don't enjoy rubber banding. <laughs> cause, you know, I, 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 I like when things aren't rubber banded cause then you can actually, you know, gauge. Okay, how, uh, how deep in shit am I? But you can't really gauge that when the game rubber bands. Because <laughs> then it's like, well, it, it's like two centimeters away from you, but now it, it's programmed to go slower. Oh, oops. <laughs> Did you see that? It just straight up stopped at my corpse. <laughs> that is, I feel like that is a, a good case for why... Or not why, but uh, that that this game of rubber bands, because it just when it got to me, it just stopped. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I have done that like every single time now. Okay, literally, let's try not to do the same mistake again, again. Oh, are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? I feel like this might be it. Yeah, this might be it. Hey, Donald, you finally come up to me. Blah, 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 blah. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Can you go away, Mr. Gladstone? <laughs> I don't even remember what his name is in Norwegian anymore. <laughs> I, I, I guess that was what something that I almost talked about. Um, I think it was the last time we did this. Uh, that I, you know, oh, I don't know anything about Disney anymore. Uh, it was kind of that that led me into it because like girl, I don't remember what the hell his name was in Norwegian anymore Even though you know, I've read you know countless comics where he's he's appeared But holy moly, I guess this is just gonna be the boss We have I didn't actually see the, our live lives counter. I think it was like 18 So this is gonna be exciting don't even remember how this boss works. Welcome, Thank you. That's ominous. <laughs> That's not what it said. It just said, ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, the dragon, the dragon, I forgot about the dragon. Hmm. <laughs> I, I, I suppose we just have to turn all these on? Question mark, is, like, is this just gonna be one big running level? I, I, I guess it is. 
I'm I'm very confused. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. I did not remember this whatsoever. <laughs> this is pretty fun though. I, I'm having fun. I I I can't say I'm not having fun. <laughs> oh, that was so close. And uh, I'm I'm ow. I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say that oh, that uh, if we miss any of these, we have to go all the way around again. So I'm just gonna try not to miss any of those. Oh, which I almost did with that one. Now I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, this might not be to earn. This might not be the run where we get him, because uh, um, I um, I've already lost. I've already been hit once, so uh, um, like uh, if I get hit just one more time, then uh, you know it's game over. And uh, <gasps> he's already. I've already, you know, had tr issues with uh, one of these forms. Oh, Christ, in all his wonderful glory. I swear I'm actually not Christian. Uh, <laughs> don't know why you needed to know that, but uh, I, I just feel like, because uh, when I listen back, ow, oh, I, okay, or for some reason I was spared. Don't know why, but uh, okay. They they were more than merciful, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, because sometimes when I hear myself back in editing, I do say, you know, God and Jesus a lot in, in editing. <laughs> and I don't, I don't really know why I do that, but uh, apparently I just do. It's just how, how I swear, apparently. It was, was that it? Is that it? <gasps> that might have been it. We might have died. I hate that Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a cutscene. Ten out of ten. Oh, it's loading. <laughs> if the game had crashed, I would have laughed so hard. <laughs> I thought she was wearing a diaper. <laughs> uh, arrow? Oh, the weather wing. Boop. Mmm, look at those crisp textures. was uh, Donald Duck Quack Attack, the uh, a pretty pretty quick and easy little let's play of a game that I had a lot of fond memories of. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I, I, I did expect this game to be kind of short because uh, I, I, I have already, you know, another uh, game planned, which uh, is going to be another um, Nintendo 64 game. Um, 
But I didn't think it was gonna be this short, because I think this is part five. So like, wow, that is uh, not the longest game in the world. I, I mean, I if I total the entire amount of time that I've recorded this, this took me just a little more than two hours. And I am by no means like a quote-unquote speedrunner. Because there's a lot of shit I could have skipped. Because you don't really... Uh, I mean... If you don't count the quote-unquote bonus levels, then you can just skip the toys. You don't actually have to do any of those. You, the only things you have to get is the quesadilla piece, so... But still... Oh, I... I thought one of those person's name was anime, but it was Amine. <laughs> oh man, they, lots of French names in the in the credits since this is uh, a Ubisoft game. And apparently, something I learned was that this I think it, I think it is the Nintendo 64 version was uh, made on American, no, not American, African uh, soil. So this is one of the first uh, African-made games. I think I think I read something to that degree on the Wikipedia page, but um, still pretty interesting that you know this was apparently made in Africa. <laughs> oh, Donald's just so happy, so happy to see Donald Duck, our favorite friend since one year. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of, of fond memories with Donald in general. Such such a good character. <laughs> you know, he's just, I mean, I, I feel like I feel like a lot of people can relate to Donald because he's, he's just you know, um, he's just the every man. He's just the guy you know. Oh, Carl Barks. Apparently, this was you know the in yeah. This is you know in memory of Carl Barks. So. Mad respect to the guy, I suppose. <laughs> Not much else I can really say than that, but... I don't know, I'm just gonna just... Yeah, I'm just gonna plop me right back here, so, you know? I think I'm gonna be seeing you guys then, in the next time where I play another Nintendo 64 game. I wonder what it's gonna be. Is it gonna be Daisy? It's not gonna be Daisy. Say it.